Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, getting ready to do another experiment, so I wanted to document it. Uh, this is the uh, Lionel plastic car, of course, with Ben's button contactor mounted on it. And what I've done is I've swapped out the rear truck with a steel truck. I'm using the American Flyer floodlight, spotlight, whatever you want to call it. And I've got it uh, grounded to this truck with the screw that's actually mounting the truck to the uh, flatbed itself. The power line is run over to the main contactor and I haven't got it soldered. I've got uh, a wire wrapped a couple of times around this rubber grommet and then just slid over the post to uh, supply power. So it's going to be an interesting experiment. Anyway, I just wanted to document this. I just got this built not 10 minutes ago. So this is going to be the first run on the rail. I got this on uh, the Lionel rail being pulled by the 2036. So the very first test of a Lionel plastic car with a spotlight mounted on it, powered by Ben's button contactor. Let's see what happens. That is running absolutely flicker free. Wow, it's as constant as if there was a wire attached to it. No flicker at all. Absolutely constant light. So this works. This works really well. Better than I anticipated, in fact. So 10 minutes ago, I did not have a Lionel Spotlight car, but I sure have one now. So that contactor is made of a drawer pole from Menards and uh, just threw this together. This is really, really crude, but as you can see, that is working absolutely perfectly. So replacing that truck with a steel truck made an absolute uh, incredible difference in how this runs. This is running splendidly, just absolutely perfectly, flicker free, all the way around the rail. Good, bright, constant light. So I have a Lionel spotlight car where I did not have one 10 minutes ago. And this is still really crude, nothing soldered, nothing's finalized. Wires are wrapped around things. But uh, I just want to do a quick video to do the uh, initial test. And as you can see, this is running just absolutely perfectly. I don't think you could ask it to run better than this. It is absolutely flicker free. And that contactor is just dragging on the third rail, as you see. And that spotlight is absolutely constant. So, a successful test. So I now have a spotlight car from the Lionel. So it's going to be a lot of fun to play with this. So I'll continue my experiments, but uh, so far so good. This actually looks like it's going to work better than I anticipated, considering this is a plastic car. So it works. This is still a bit crude, but even so, uh, for the initial test, it's working, like I said, better than I had anticipated. It's actually working quite well. So anyway, I just want to do a quick video to document this. So Ben's button contactor and the uh, American Flyer floodlight, spotlight, whatever you want to call it. Spotlight's grounded directly to the steel truck. Power is run over directly to the main contactor. And this is running just absolutely splendidly. Good constant bright light all the way around as you see. So this contactor works, there's no doubt about that. 
So a really simple way to add power to any kind of car. Tin litho, plastic, Marks, Lionel, American Flyer, doesn't make any difference. This will work on virtually anything. It's really, really simple. It only takes a couple of minutes to install it. Best of all, it doesn't cost anything and it works. It works really, really well. So just a quick video to document this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.